Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Bloodhound and how to run Bloodhound and how we can use Bloodhound to essentially visualize and enumerate this entire Active Directory domain. And we will essentially find the interesting attack path that allows us to get further access in this machine. I really hope you will enjoy this video and I really hope you'll find it useful and please enjoy. Now it's time to check with Bloodhound. Mm. So yeah. Let me go to Bloodhound. And we can ingest it like so. Let me... It has to be over LDAP. Let me get back. When that is done. Alright, so now the data is ready. So we can take this and put it in temp. Then we can set up Bloodhound. Come on, just do this. And you know, this is my preferred way of doing it, so it's just always stable and reliable. After this is done, we can see if the generated password fits uh, up and running already. And it is awesome. So let's go to localhost or data 80. You can customize this port, but Burp isn't up and running, so it won't be in the way. Generate a new simple password. And now we can ingest the data. I put mine in temp so it's easy to be able to actually use. So this will be ingesting and uh, I will be back to you once it's properly done. So it is complete, didn't take that long. So we can now explore with all of the data that we have. So um, we ran it using Ryan but we want to make sure that all of the user sites we actually have, we will start off by setting as, uh, as owned. So let's go to Ryan. And let add Ryan to owned. And let's do the same thing for Rose. And then Oscar is what I believe. And then the, I think the last was SQL service. So now we have a bit more overview. We can go to these hyper queries and just take a look at some basic things. So, Nothing is too interesting there. The corrosible users, again, we will see too. None of those were able to crack the hash. I, it's most likely rabbit hole. We try, tried three huge lists, but something to keep in mind. No as corrosible users. Let's go to some of the shortest paths. Shortest path from owned objects. All right, so. Immediately I see as Ryan has a right owner over the certificate authority service. That could definitely be interesting to explore because we don't have access to that user. We were not able to crack the hash at least. Let's say shortest path to domain admins.
Yeah. I don't really see anything interesting. Let me go to all the users. The most interesting so far is the Ryan, by far. So these are the owned objects, right? The two marked. So we can also take a look at the the outbound oblets control for Oscar, nothing. Ryan has one outbound object control, and that is over the certificate service. SQL service has nothing. And the same thing with Rose again. So I definitely want to take a look at this thing then. This seems like the most likely path so far. Hmm. And the certificate service. It's a member of Swift Publishers. There. <laughs> Let's work on getting access to that user from Ryan or see what we can actually do with that uh, that access because it's pretty much all we have that is uh, particularly interesting for now. So to change the ownership of the object, you may use impact zone or edit. Grant ownership. Okay, so we can essentially take ownership over that user. And you can grant yourself generic all permissions. And with that, and with those permissions, you can force change you could force uh, change password on that user. And this is also the certificate authority service, right? So we checked all of the attacks earlier with the users that we had access to using uh, Certify. So getting access to the Certificate Authority service sounds very juicy from that point of view. Um, so yeah, let's just work on getting access to eventually change password. So um, first we need to do owner edits. So. This is a part of the impact suite, like so, and it also saves it, the impact on Reddit. So, action right owner. The owner is the Ryan, or the attacker rather. The victim is certificate service. The domain is SQL, hack the box. The user is Ryan. And his password we have in the notes. Right term. So it is hovering out. Owner edit action right, owner attacker, target victim domain. I'm not sure any of that really looks wrong. I can try with mail like so. None. Okay, then let's do some um, some research. So let's see. The administrator in escaped. Okay. 
We don't want to look at that one, even though this is the most likely path I deemed. For now. Target the end. I think that's the distinguished name. We can try adding that. New owner. Let's try adding both of those. Let's see. So this this would be DC equals vocal. Try that. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it says new owner. There we go. Okay, so just needed the new owner. And then now we have taken ownership over this user pretty much. So the next thing we could do is to grant all the rights to this uh, this user certificate authority service. So we will do like so. And these machines can also reset these rights, which is uh, something to be mindful of. So we give them full control. The principal will be Ryan. This will be the certificate authority service with their underscore. Domain is SQL hack the box. The user is Ryan. And a password is this. Okay, this is not on Reddit. This is stack Reddit, yeah. Insufficient right, so it probably reset. There we go. So now that is successfully modified. So we can essentially recurb roast, which we've already done, I believe, but we couldn't crack it. And forcing it to change password is obviously a lot more reliable. So let's do that. So the target user is once again certificate service. The new password can be can be this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do like so with single quotes. The domain is SQL hack the box. The user is Ryan. And the password of Ryan will be this. The end domain controller is target. Let's try that. Let's see if that actually worked. So we could try. Certificate service with password one two three. There we go. That actually did work.
we can take a look at this, but we already have the... We already have the password, and it's called Certificate Service. Hmm. So I'm not sure uh, really how interesting interested I am in that. Hmm. But yeah, let's try with um, with Certify. It's literally called the Certificate Service, right? So having full permissions should be very interesting. Certify. It's the death. And then standard out, I believe. It's possible it has a reset by now as well. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage of someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.